Hello, it's uh, me again with another tutorial. I've had a few questions on how to make uh, Grizz's border. So I am just going to show you quickly how I made it. I think I am. If I can find out what I've done wrong. Alright, yeah. So here it is. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to break it down to you. Um, yeah, you don't need that gradient map. Um, yeah, so you have your text layers. This one's just the actual text. Below it, I have a shadow, and then below all that down here, I have a motion blur, which just gives it a nice little effect behind. And then the other corner, you know, same again. So yeah, this is this is the actual design. You have your little vein marks, the red bits here in the corners. I'll put this. I'll get this uploaded and put onto it, so you can just you know go through the layers and have a look. You have your stroke, uh, your ink, two ink splats, which are meant to look like blood, I think. And then you got your background. So yeah, that's this is the design of the actual what where I want to do the uh, border. So I'm just going to make a new composition, a uh, new layer, even no new project. Uh, control N. These are the settings you need: uh, 1280 by 720, transparent, and uh, make sure it's pixels. Hit OK. Just let it get a new document. Um, I'm not going to show you how to get the uh, outlines and stuff because I'm sure you can make it if you watch my tutorial on how to make a gaming border. You'll be able to do all this pretty easily. But yeah, here is the actual design. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can make it by using the uh, line tool here, uh, doing that and putting it all in the right place. And also by using the polygon tool, make sure it's got the right amount of size and, you know, just fit it wherever you want it, that's the wrong shape, but whatever, let's just get rid of it. Alright, okay. So here's the design, I'm going to be quick, I want to get this all in one video, so, alright. We're going to control click on this, this gets a selection of uh, where we want to draw, where we want to brush, where we want to do everything. So yep, we're going to make some new layers, we're going to go to filter, render, clouds. And just press Control F to get some with high contrast. Like I like this is quite good. It goes black white really quick, and there's lots of different contrasting areas. Uh, press B to get your brushes. And um, if you don't have any brushes at all, um, go type it on YouTube. Amuse uh, GFX, Amuse Graphics, and he has a tutorial on how to get brushes like these. And um, these are grunge ones. You can probably type it in on Google, and you'll get some. So yep, yeah, I'm just using this one. Um, and we're just gonna do some brushing. It doesn't even have to look good because it just doesn't. Just just do some brushing. Oh, I don't like that. Um, and then what I do is I go on the layer above. No, I don't. I go on stay on the same layer. Press X to just swap these two colors here, and um, we're gonna click. And then just like double click. This just gives it a bit more contrast again, which is good for um, when we do the other bits later on. Yeah, and then just put some brushing on top. I'll just go through this quickly. Yeah, X to swap the colours, I just messed up then. So yeah, you get you get a general idea, it won't take you too long to do this. I'm just doing it quickly, it's not gonna look that great. So yeah, there's our brushing and the clouds are below. What I want to do is I want to stretch the pixels out so we get like the little lines you might be able to see on the border, you might not be able to. We can press control D to deselect. And then go to this tool up here, single column marquee tool. Um, make sure you duplicate this layer. I'd do it three times just in case I lose it. And uh, we're going to click. Uh, make sure it's an area that's quite dark with a little bit of white in. Control T. Drag. Drag it out. And then hold down shift when you drag it. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that. You won't get very far if you don't do that, but you see it just drags all the pixels out, it stretches it, which is gives it a nice effect. And what we're going to do after that is we're going to click on the mask tool. We're going to press B to get our brushes back, and we're just going to get rid of everything at the bottom down here. Because we don't need it. We only want it on the top section. So this one here is the top section uh, stretch, and we need to do one on the bottom. So we're going to get this tool up again, make sure you have single column marquee tool. And we're going to do the same on the bottom. So like we'll click, say, no. We'll click area which has got quite a bit of black in, which is here. Control T. Uh, control T. Uh, my computer's dying on me. 
Control T. No, you're not. Re you really don't want to work for me, do you? Um, just move across a bit to like the Control T. Oh my God! All right, edit image. No. Oh, I was on the wrong layer. Sorry. Um, you need to be on the layer which you want to stretch on. So Control T, and then Shift drag. And then drag all the way to the far side. Hit enter and uh, then control D, deselects it all. And we want to get a mask up again and we want to mask out everything on the top. Masking out is just like, uh, it's better than rubbing out. See, so yeah, we've got these two layers here where we have our stretched pixels. So we're going to do control E. We're going to apply the masks because we don't need them anymore. And we're going to control click on our original background and we're going to go on our layer which we just done the stretching on, press control J, which just keeps it all in the right place. And then we're going to get this layer and we're just going to bin it because we really don't need it anymore. And we're going to, on our stretched pixels, we're going to overlay it, which is on the blending options. And we're going to take the opacity down to about 50%, right, off a bit higher, maybe 75 so you get like a look of some lines. Actually, I'm just gonna pop it up all the way and change the fill to 75. So yeah, yeah, you see we've got all these lines and stuff, which looks quite cool. It's, it's um, I think they did it a different way to me on the actual border, but this looks cool for me. I, I think it looks quite nice. You know, play around with blending options. Though. They're quite good. You just play around, see what ones you like. But yeah, um, just showing you what we do. So yeah, this is like the background, let's say. So we're just gonna all of them layers there. Just Control Shift and E. I just puts it all in one layer. Okay, so we're gonna go make a new layer above this one. So here we have our background now. That's our background, and we want to do a stroke around it. So we're gonna Control Click on that. Go on a layer above. Edit Stroke. And I think we'll have it quite a bright red to start with. Make it about six pixels. That's too big. Edit, stroke. Just play around until you find the right size. I think four will look a lot better. Yeah, that looks better. Edit, stroke, and then three pixels. And then make it a darker red. That'll probably be an easier way of doing this again. But yeah, can't be asked to explain through. Two pixels. Make it even darker again. It's like gradients it out. It doesn't look as good as doing it with great with a real gradient, but that will take ages to get the right angles. So I'll just do it as well as a lot quicker. Edit stroke again. Control D to deselect, and it looks really dodgy to me, to be honest. Uh, did I do a stroke the right way around? I don't know why it looks so dodgy. Um, It'll be fine. <laughs> it's just a quick tutorial. You can you can mess around with it a bit more later on. But yeah, it, it's fine. So yeah, now we've got our stroke above. Um, we're gonna make another new layer and press B again to get your brushes. And you're gonna make the primary color to a not that red, quite a red color. And we're gonna do like these little bits in the corner, these little red bits. I find making a layer on the bottom, which is black, 